Well, with spring, I'm thinking about being here. Farmers markets theoretically will be soon open with fresh produce, perfect for everyone in your house, from mama to baby. And joining me this morning are local authors, blending bloggers, and new parents, Shalva and Lenny Gale. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. New parents? Yeah. New uh, kids. How many? Just one. Just four the one? Months. Four months. Oh, so like brand new parents. Real new. Oh, wow. So you're just getting into this whole baby food excitement yes. uh, in a, from an experimental basis. First and foremost, you guys are all for blending up and making your own baby food. Tell us why folks might want to consider doing that. Sure. So there's a few reasons. Mm -hmm. um, one is that you're in control. So That's true. You know exactly what's going in. Mm -hmm. Fresh, local produce that's in season and you also know exactly what's not going in and to us that's the most important is there's no additives mm -hmm. there's no flavorings there's no preservatives if you're doing it yourself secondly it's so much healthier for the baby if you're using local fresh seasonal food it's packed full of nutrients and third and i think this one is a little bit surprising to people we think that it's healthier for mama mm -hmm. and the reason is that you take so much time taking care of yourself when you're pregnant and when you're nursing and then when your kid starts eating food you kind of lose sight of that so instead of going to the grocery store and picking up a pouch or a jar of baby food and then maybe like a frozen dinner for yourself mm -hmm. instead we're sending you to the farmer's market to get produce for the whole family and by doing that yeah you're encouraging the rest of the family to eat on a on a healthier level exactly um whose idea was this was this a joint effort or who who thought of this idea first of baby food in yeah. general Baby was ready. Uh, they say that baby food helps baby sleep through the night. Oh. So at a, at a certain point. This was a selfish motivation yes. as well. Yeah. If we look Can tired, you see there's eyes? a yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it was, the, and, and this is kind of what we do. We, we um, you have a choice in, 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 you can go to the grocery store and you can see jars and, and packets and you can see that they're there for a couple bucks and it doesn't look like they're, it's all that's a couple of dollars, but over the course of a month, it really adds up. Oh, quickly. it does, especially as they start to eat more and more. Exactly. And, and, and especially yeah. when you can make your own mm -hmm. easily at home for pennies on the dollar. So again, this is a, a money-saving feature as well. Yeah. So you don't need to spend a lot of money uh, when you do this. When you, you make your own, you're not adding a bunch of stuff. It's just essentially going to the farmer's market, finding what you like. Do you have to do you have to do other things or add stuff to just a, a vegetable or a fruit, or is it literally just pulping the heck out <laughs> of something? So. At first, mm -hmm. it's really just blending one or two ingredients together. Mm -hmm. So four months, all he's going to be eating is a couple of things yeah. together. You can start to get really creative and mix some stuff. So yeah. yes, you might want to start getting creative with it. We're excited to get creative about it, to give him some interesting things to try to expand his palate a little bit. But the only prep that you need is to steam your vegetables. Mm -hmm. Steaming is by far the best way to keep as many nutrients as you can in them. So. It took me four minutes to steam the peas that we're going to use today. All right, go ahead. And did you want to blend something up for yeah, us? Yeah, we'll show you. Yeah. All right. So, so we're just, are we going to just, just make peas? Or are we going to do something yeah. fun with it? So I've got my sous chef here. We are <laughs> oh, making like a it. really simple, simple um, one today because, okay. like I said, we've got a four-month-old, and he can really only yeah. handle one thing. Right, and you don't want to introduce too many things at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. So for allergies, you want to make sure to keep it mm -hmm. simple. But you can get really, really interesting at a certain point here. So I've got peas, which have been steamed. Mm -hmm. They're seasonal right now. You okay. can go to the when the farmer's markets are available to mm -hmm. us. Dump those in there. Dump them in, yeah, go. <laughs> so it's two cups of steamed peas, and then yeah. we've got a half a cup of a non-dairy milk of your choice. So you can okay. use almond milk, cashew milk, or you can use breast milk or formula mm -hmm. here too, depending. Um, so we've got a half cup of that. Lenny's gonna blend it up. Just for about 10 seconds. Super easy. High-powered blender. This is a Vitamix. Um, this is what we use at home. There it goes. And that's it. Now, you said you used uh, just a, was that an almond milk you used in there for that? So we used an almond milk. We would likely use uh, express breast milk at home. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people will use formula in here too. So let's see. <laughs> So we would probably use the tamper that goes with it. Yeah, right. Too, yeah, you want to squish sure. everything else. Exactly. I have a tendency to rock things back and forth when I use the blender. I know. That's probably not good for the blender. So this is what it ends up looking okay. like, is this bright, fresh, vibrant mm -hmm. green color. You can tell it has nutrients in it because of the color. You Did you make, some? what was this made with? Was this made with almond milk? Almond milk, yes. Okay. <laughs> no Just worries. Make it sure. <laughs> extra, extra nutrients there. And then, mm -hmm. what do you think? It's peas. It's peas. It's peas. You know, for an adult, I'd say maybe add a little salt. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, but... That's not bad. It's not terrible. It's very clean. Yeah, it's I not like bad. That. It's just steamed. And then 
We also have a sweet potato carrot one, mm -hmm. which is, um, it's sweet naturally because of the carrots, but also very vibrant, full of now, nutrients. Now, you'll make this stuff, do you make this stuff once a week and you keep it in the fridge or do you put this stuff in the freezer? So that's a great question. So a lot of people will make a huge batch mm -hmm. and then they'll freeze it. So Lenny, do you want to kind of show them the process? Well, real quick, we only have about 10 or 12 seconds oh, left. Do it, okay. Yeah, the, uh, the, how long will it last in the freezer if you can do it that Three way? months, which is about oh. how long you're going to be doing. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, anyway. then yeah, you can make it once and then you just say, all right, maybe here's I'm a, done forever. Here's yeah. a carrot popsicle <laughs> if you're not too careful. Well, guys, exactly. we've run out of time, but thank you very much. No, thank Michelle, you. Michelle, Lenny, thank you for joining us this morning and for all of these recipes, including, guess what? They've got a book. It's called The Perfect Mix. You can go to their uh, website, their blog. It's lifeisnoyoke.com, lifeisnoyoke.com.